Hello, and welcome back to Tech It. I'm building my castle still. Uh, just getting a, uh, the main keep a bit higher. I'm going to build this up first, I think, and then um, I'll be able to use it as a, as a living quarters while I finish the rest of the, the castle. So I won't have to keep going back to my shed. Well, I say shed, it's more of a wooden house. It's quite nice, actually. So, what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm building up the walls of the keep whilst uh, leaving gaps for the windows and I will be um, working out where the f each floor is as well so I can know how many floors I'm making as I go. I have to go back and get some more stone I have run out which is a common occurrence when you're using so much of it. Luckily I've got a condenser which pretty much solves all my building problems because stone's worth like nothing as you can see I've got a lot of it so at the moment I'm just using stone bricks um, and it will look kind of very barren and bare and imposing uh, but eventually I will be decorating it a bit better you know so this is just kind of um, the base layer of stone and then after that I'll add kind of pretty patterns and all sorts of little bits to make it to break up the um, monotony of the stone bricks. I think I'll have like window ledges and um, maybe balconies and things like that. Overhanging bits of wood where the defenders can throw down rocks onto the attackers. So this is the where the first floor will be. Um, I've run out of wood, <laughs> so I'm making a lot more wood in the condenser. Should be enough to keep it going for a while. So I'm just lighting up the outside of the of the castle keep now, just so you can see it in the night. I'm building up the second floor. Now I'm going to start work on the the wall between the main keep and the square tower and then I'm going to build up the square tower uh, just to see how high I would like it. I'm going to use a basic frame just to see how it looks and then afterwards I'll fill in the gaps once I've decided that I like it or not. So the keep needs to be much higher. I think another two, two levels maybe will be enough. Um, I think one of the smaller towers might be higher than the keep. I think that would look good. But the keep itself is still going to be pretty massive. It's going to have a lot of room in it. I'm going to have a big sorting room eventually where all my items get sorted into uh, correct chests automatically. That might be on level two. Uh, or it might be in a basement. I'm not sure. I want to have a kind of crazy scientist basement like, you know, like Frankenstein would have. Um, because I think that's that's very me. Ooh. So I'm marking off where the next floor will go. I give it one block above the window and two blocks up to the next window. That makes the windows very hard to look through. Um, but I think that's the way I'd like it. You can always change it if it goes wrong. So here I am, I just um just come back for some more materials. But I've squared off the square tower, or oblong tower rather, and now I'm going to finish off the wall about the right height that I'd like it. It can be quite high, just below the last floor of the tower. Um, but then again, I think I might add another layer to the tower, just to make it really high. I want this tower to look bigger than the mountain that it's sitting on. This, this whole 
castle. So that's how high I want the, the square tower, um, but I definitely want this one higher, so I'm bringing this one up another level. And then I'm going to add a very kind of pointy tall roof to it as well, I think. There's an enderman in there, stealing my stuff. Stealing my grass block. They do love their grass blocks. Skeleton, knock him off. <laughs> wow, he didn't stand a chance. So this will be the highest level of the tower. A bit of rain there. Okay, so now I'm going to start work on the roof. I'm going to make it out of a kind of light wood, a uh, jungle wood. I'm make it like a kind of conical point. I think I might have a, an, another tower coming out of it at the top. So the kind of the roof and then another tower which is smaller and then another roof. That's the plan. I'm going to add these um, kind of chimneys in as well. I'm not sure if I'll, they'll stay or not. I'm just kind of trying out an idea while I'm building. There's loads of creepers on the bottom level just running around there. I better not go down there. Okay, now I'm going to add the, the stone second tower, the smaller tower. Just there. That one won't be too high, maybe two or three blocks, and then there'll be another roof on it. The top roof is almost square, but I'm going to cut the corners off as well afterwards to make it look a bit, a bit rounder. So there we have it. I'm going to add a, another chimney in just to see, see how it looks. Um, so to see. Lovely. Okay, so let's have a look at it. It's, uh, it's looking good. It's getting there. It's getting there. Uh, it would be good when it's kind of broken up a bit with, with other decorations on, on the side. At the moment it looks very uh, just kind of flat and a bit boring. But we'll add some flourishes, which will be good. So what I'm going to do now is I've got a kind of big enough structure here to, to actually start using as a base, um, move this one over. So let's um, let's take some of our stuff and our machinery and move it over to that tower. So first we need the power, so I'll take up my arrays and uh, MFSU and all that sort of stuff. Wrench. Okay, so how have we got? We've got um, two, three, four, five, six... No, I've got nine arrays now. That's good. I keep adding them when I've got time. And I've also added an MFSU, which is a, it's a small power, which I probably just lost a lot of, but never mind. Uh, Transformers. Lost my wrench. That's a pain. Um, take up these wires. Gonna need them. Um, I'm just gonna abandon this shed, really, I think. What should I do with it? I should turn it into like a holiday home or something. 
make it all nice and pretty. Um, let's just take the wrench. I might have to build another one at this rate. Oh no, that's annoying. <laughs> I can get that. Recycler and these wires. Oh, that's a point actually. The crop matron is going to lose power and all my crops will die. Um, this could be a problem. Oh, damn it. I'll have to think of something. Some other source of power for it. Let's take these wires. Oh, how many is there? There's a spade. There he is. So, wow, that's, yeah, oh dear, what am I going to do about that? Um, let's have a go. It, how far do I go? Oh, there's water. Oh, damn it. Is there glowstone above that? No. Good, so that's not the, the actual water. Um, ugh, effort, come on. It's getting dark. Um... Why not? Let's put a solar array there. And then we'll link it up with some wires. Why not? I'm sure that will be sorted. Uh, can't see a bloody thing. <laughs> Let's put a torch here. Ah, oh, that's better. Okay, so... Just... Uh, does that... Yeah, that should work, shouldn't it? Maybe I need a bat box. Just so it can work at night. That's an idea. I'll get a bat box. I'm sure I've got one somewhere. Uh, in here, maybe? Ah, there's one. So, yeah. I think this will be fine. It's a good... Mm. Uh, plonk it there. <laughs> I'm going to have to escape somehow. <laughs> Is this going to work? Oh, come on. Oh, the torch in the way. And... Is it, so it won't be gaining power, will it? Because it's uh, middle of the night. And that's a transformer. <laughs> so it's obviously not going to work. <laughs> Where's the bat box? There he is. Output needs to be red. What's going to happen? I need to... Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> right. Let's just put it down there and we'll fix it from the surface. God, what a nightmare. Um, so let's take the Krokmatron up. Take the stuff out and oh, did I get it? Oh, I got sucked up by the pipe, didn't it? Nuts! <laughs> God damn it! What have we got? Nothing special. Oh, I must have trodden this one. It's annoying. Oh well. Where is it? Is it, uh... It's in the pipe. <laughs> oh, there we go. What a palava. Um... Let's check away that lever. Fix this. There we go. Now... <laughs> We can put the crop machine back. And we'll put the stuff back inside it. And we should be good to go. Now hopefully, when it gets to daytime, it will uh, it will be enough just from this one solar array. Now, I've got eight more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a... Um, a medium voltage solar array. So I need another MV transformer, which needs eight refined iron and a couple of copper cables. That's all it is, quite simple. 
Uh, let's make a machine block. What am I doing? It's the worst clicking I've ever seen. <laughs> so we just put a copper cable either side of that, like that. Now we get that and surround it with the low voltage solar arrays. And we've made a medium one. We've got MFSU, uh, low voltage transformer, medium voltage transformer. Let's pick up these uh, machines and take them over to the castle. To make a wrench. Is that wrong? There we go. Cool. So we've got the extractor, and the macerator, and the charging bench. That's it, I think. Now we're going to take the wires from underneath here. Any. Mm, yeah. We will need them. We probably need a lot more of them, actually. Um, this could be a pain. What have we got here? So, yeah, we need to make some more of these glass fiber cables. Because I'm going to have to travel this electricity much further than it currently is going. I need to remember the recipe. Um, I think it's like glass and diamond. It's glass, diamond and redstone. Cool. Uh, so we have a few of those. And do we have any glass? Hmm. Ah, uh, one. That's enough. Perfect. That do. That's the ticket. Right. Um. And let's make as many as we can. I hate the way stuff moves around so you can't just spam clicking. <laughs> there we go, 28. So we've got 52, that should be fine. Right, let's do this. Let's put our stuff on the tower. So I'm going to put the medium voltage array. Oh my god. Get away from me. Oh, don't blow up, oh god. Oh god, screw this. He can stay up there. It's too risky. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to put it here, at the top. I can have room for four of them, or eventually four high voltage, which will give us a lot of power. A lot of power. Yeah. Four high voltage arrays is, like, insane. So, let's bring cable down. Oops, how do I do that? There we go. Now, where, how far are we going? Where are we going to store the power? Let's store it on this floor. Uh, this one here, which doesn't yet exist. <laughs> Make a little platform for it. <laughs> oh god. I'm being a bit premature on this, aren't I? Maybe we can store up here, that'd be good. Yeah, let's do that. Oops. Just chop this um wood. So yeah, this is I think this is a good place to store the power. This could be our power storage room. I like it. It works. We do need a way up though. Um let's just say here. I'll do whatevs. We can fly for now. So we'll have just have a basic um confess you just one moment. Uh that's the wrong way round. And I do have my wrench, which is nice. Um I don't want it there. It's a bad place for it. Let's put it against the wall. Um, yeah. Yeah. That should be filling up when it gets to daytime. And then we have to step it down 
Um, so we'll put the medium voltage transformer here, and then the low voltage here. And that will give us low voltage power coming out of this wire. And yeah, that's it. We'll put the rest of the machines on the floor below and bring the power down to them. Um, but yeah, until next time, goodbye.